My name is Joel Duggan, and this is the Realm of Vastin, and it is a co-op multiplayer server where myself and some friends, some new friends, are making jai freaking enormous builds in Minecraft, and this is what we're going to be working on today. I wanted to take a break from working on on these uh, these towers. This one isn't finished yet. Um, there's been some changes and some some updates to it by uh, by Fixit, I think, and it's it's really close. I said that I would help and, and finish it off, but he was a huge help. And getting that going it sucks when you have to build the same thing twice so it was kind of a nice nice way to kind of move forward with that uh, but this is something that has been occupying my brain for quite some time and this is the giant frost tree that's going to uh, I guess be the centerpiece of this whole city so let's fly over there you can see that I've started to kind of lay in some lines and I think I don't think they're correct I think that they are a little bit too low uh, because of, of um, some pixel art and stuff that I've been doing off camera to try and measure things out. And it's not an accident that you see all these little cobblestone kind of barbs on the sides of these elevators. Uh, it is uh, every five blocks on the fives and the tens is the cobblestone. And then every 20 blocks you can see that there's glass. And that's two purposes. It's going to show us where the 20 block markers are, but it's also letting light into the water elevators so that when you pop up one of these elevators you're not in complete darkness the whole time and there's a light goes by like that so this will take us up to 190 there's elevators to 130 190 and 240 and the 241 is right there so it is a huge build and uh, right now what we have to do to kick things up uh, op that's not a word to kick things off uh, is to fill in the rest of this dirt platform. So I wanted to have kind of like a basic understanding uh, for Jermsy Boy who's working on the castle. Um, this is like a height test. I'm pretty sure the castle is actually going to be on this side. It's hard. We haven't had a chance to really have a talk about it, but I think this is the better spot for it. Just my two cents. I mean, we'll discuss it, you know, on, on the Discord and figure out where the best place is. But I feel like this would give him higher walls because this is lower ground. Um, and it would also create, we could do like a moat or something here, which I think would be really, really cool. Uh, so this circle that I've laid out on the ground is, oh, there's a witch nearby. Do not want to run into her. Where are you? There you are. I like getting the extra XP. When XP is the thing that we don't have a lot of nearby. So anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, uh, this cobblestone circle is a 51... Uh, block uh, diameter from the beacon beam in the center there and I'm thinking that this is just gonna give us like an outside edge of the tree so like the bulk of the trunk is at most gonna reach here at most uh, some things like roots are gonna go a little bit farther uh, but that's okay uh, and then other things uh, are going to come a little bit closer. So it depends. Uh, so like here's the inside of one root and then we'll have an outside of another root going out there. I'm going to sleep so we can actually see what we're doing. So the reason we're building it out of stone is I needed to build it out of something that was not the same uh, as the elevator material because that's just dirt. Uh, and because of the beacon, we can insta mine stone. Uh, so it's going to be really easy to take this down. The tree is not going to be made of stone, I don't think. It's going to be gray and blue and white. And we're thinking a combination of coral, ice, uh, and packed ice, blue ice, and a lot of snow. Uh, cobblestone actually doesn't look so bad. So for some of the cobbles, for some of the darker bits, we might go cobblestone. And this, I believe, is andesite, I want to say. Pretty sure it's andesite. Yeah, so there's some andesite there too. Uh, I'm still getting used to the texture pack. but uh, So there's a possibility to use some blocks that are really common, like having smooth stone and cobblestone in the bark could save us a lot of uh, farming and stuff when it comes to coral. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this dude, or dudette, I should say. <laughs> the, um, the sounds are all the same. I don't think you can assign new sounds to mobs in Minecraft. I think you can only replace existing. So the, the zombies all have uh, kind of a, a manly growl even when they're, they're female zombies, which I think is kind of funny. Um, so what was I saying? I was talking about grays. So yeah, so we, we're going to be building some of these out of out of stone. 
And the idea is to not have these in perfect placement. So for example, this is like directly in line with, with the midpoint. And that's not where I want that to be. Obviously, we don't want this to just be a straight root that comes out like that. It's going to come out at a bit of an angle. It might snake a little bit. But the root itself is probably going to be about this big around. So if you look at this section here where I do have some coral, this is about the diameter of the of the root of the tree that's going to kind of like go over the edge of the cliff and kind of go down that way. And you can see where we've got this kind of line where it's going to kind of droop over. But it kind of dips down too soon. So when I was looking at my pixel art, I think the first thing we've got to do is take these two lines and just increase their height by like two blocks. So just push everything up by two. Uh, and I've actually got some measurements that we can check on that. Uh, so that's kind of phase two. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in this, this dirt platform so that I don't fall and kill myself because that's been happening an awful lot. <laughs> not, I don't die, but I, I, I go down to like four hearts and it's a, it's a real pain in the butt. So we're gonna make sure we've got some dirt. We have some, oh, we got lots, wait a minute. Okay, I wasn't sure how much we had. Oops. So if, if I do this as a VOD later, I might end up cutting some of this out. This is not going to be super interesting. Cosmic Dancer says it's kind of relaxing. Yeah, I can, I, I find it very satisfying. So if you're just, if you can't think about what you want to do, but you know, you want to chill out and play Minecraft. And it, the one, one nice thing about uh, the realm of Vastin is that there's just so much to do. And I mean, I could have easily logged in and been quite happy to um to continue on with the front gate build there's the steps and some water stuff i want to do down there but uh, i feel like i wanted to change things up uh, for both twitch and youtube uh, the other thing is that i wanted to contribute to the tree because the tree seems to be holding holding people up uh, there seems to be some builds and some decisions that are being um, not put off, but like they can't really build a city until the trees in place and the castle walls are kind of there So it's one of those things where like you kind of have to get the tree in rough and Then and then go from there while we're down here. So we probably should lay down some torches Oh, there's a creeper Thankfully we have creeper griefing turned off on the server, but they can still blow you up Let's put a torch right there. There's another creeper. Thankfully, it's not too bad down here because this part is still open. So it's not like a total death trap. Putting torches on the wrong side of the road. I usually put things on the right. Am I out of torches? I am. All right, let's, let's see if we can't get back up here. See ya. One of these days I'm gonna work out a, uh, a nice screen for, um, for OBS where I can put like an image, probably put it up in maybe the top right hand corner would be the best spot for it. Um, or maybe top left hand corner is what I meant. Oh, and, um, and that way I, if I'm working from like a piece of pixel art or some reference images, like I could have those images up on the screen. I'm not sure what people think about that. I mean, the content concept art is mine. So it's, it's artwork that I've done. We'll probably just try to get as far as we can with the dirt and, and then we will, um, We'll move on to putting in the lines in the trees. Really? Is there no? How is there no dirt? That is just bananas. Okay, so the mass storage system has got no dirt. <laughs> uh, no one else is online. The question is, where has Cosmic Dancer been digging her giant hole? And does anybody else have more dirt on the server? 
Hmm. Well, let's go see if I've got, I might have some over here in the chest that I have going in, in one of these mean towers. That could get me part of the way there. Check to see what we've got here. Six, 19. <laughs> it's not looking good. It's all stone. <laughs> okay. Well, never mind for that. I wonder if Fix-It has anything over here. Let's go see. Come on, server. Really? I'm by myself. I find flying on Vassin is really problematic. Taking off is never, never something that happens smoothly. This is really cool. I was watching Fixit build this the other day on stream. Sand. And wow, no dirt. All right. Wow, this is really cool. I like that overlay texture with the terracotta and the cobblestone. It's very cool. Are there any other chests in here? Oh, I see a chest. Let's see if we can't grab some dirt. Nothing. <laughs> Man, there's a polar bear here. That's interesting. I like this big kind of like trough between everything. That's really cool. Uh, shulker of nothing. One dirt. I'm stealing it. Wow, that's, there's no dirt. Okay, I think we have to go and see if we can figure out where we can find some additional chests of stuff. Nothing there. Hello? Doop, doop, doop. We don't take all of it, but we'll take a good chunk. And anything over here? Because these guys have been doing some digging. Nothing. Okay. Well, that'll get us going for now. We'll fill this in and see how far we get. Having some deja vu, I've been working a lot with dirt and grass lately over on the Citadel uh, server where I've been doing some landscaping and stuff. I've been doing a lot of grass work and it's just, I'm, I'm done with the noise of the dirt and the grass block. I'm, I'm happy to move on to something else. <laughs> Still not really used to the directional sounds in 1.13. Sometimes, depending on where you're looking, they're not really the most accurate. I do really want to go see if I can find some more dirt. I don't know where it is though. Let's go down to the mines. We'll have to go on an adventure to see if we can't find, find the right amount of stuff. And I think we can just bypass the whole system and just be like, just go straight down. Why not? Wee. So, I think that the, the crypt is down this way. I don't like these jumping corridor things. I always find it, it's faster. I get that it gets you there faster, but I find it really weird. Uh, so this chest should be empty because it should just be constantly dumping stuff. Yeah, let's just see if anything over here don't see any chests. This place is huge. So there's the beacon, and that's the center of the tree. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What's this? Just a waterfall? Yeah, just a waterfall. Darn. I really don't know. I don't know where Crafting Mantis put this put this giant dragon cave that she's building. It's a huge hole. <laughs> I'm not sure where it is. All right. Well, uh, we shall have to head back. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to fill in that hole with stone, and then I'll have to come back and and do it some other time. Let's just grab enough here. 
I won't do two layers, I'll just do the one. I just have had enough of like falling, uh, you know, looking up the tree and trying to plan something and then you just you walk backwards off the cliff and that's the end of that. So I'll just do this. In the pixel art that I designed earlier this week, this I think is at the right height, but we're gonna check some stuff here. So 88 is what we're standing on. Yes, that's correct. And this block right there should be at 100. Let's see if we can't figure that out. It is not, it's at 99. I am not terribly fussed about that. That is one block off. I think I think I can live with that. <laughs> that's fine. All right, that's good because I don't want to. I don't have to redo that. So I don't have to touch. I don't have to touch that. That looks fine. I, the concept art. What's nice about it is that you don't have to be precise with it. But I'm pretty cool with that. Fine by me. Uh, so now, the other thing I need to do is figure out the height of one of the key key blocks over here so one of these roots so this this kind of this inside one here this line it's actually supposed to mimic this root over here the the silhouette of it so we want to try and eventually have like this block be connected like to that block so it's hard to explain but I'm kind of trying to project it um, from from being perfectly in line with everything here and then kind of like rotating it out so you kind of figure out where it's going to be in space and then you can just translate that to maybe a curved line you know from this root that to connect to the trunk maybe that maybe this root comes down here and then connects there um but right now it just looks like it's a it's a perfectly north facing root um, but we're going to fix that uh which which block do i want to try and measure here what would be the easiest one so there's three sets of two and then three blocks and then a two and a one okay i think i can sort that out let's just go up maybe on this side of it right here I have never built anything this big so this is a learning experience for me I'm trying to figure this out oh too high so in my art I've got three blocks then it goes up by two and then it goes up by another two more. So we can put something like that there. Now these aren't connected, but I should be standing on an even number. 109. That is incorrect. I should I should be standing on 110, I think. And I know I said that one block off is not the end of the world, but in this case, I think I do want to raise it because the issue uh, is that this was also going to be off. So the easiest solution is to just add one to all of these blocks and then remove the underside. Be the simplest thing. So we can take out like that and that, and then I can just Oh, no crap <laughs> well that's what the elevators are for so now I can just kind of drop down here like that and drop on this one and we're right back to where we were perfect I'm so glad I put those elevators in sweet uh, so now we can just add a block to every block oh I don't want to double up there 
So two, two, one, 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 two, one, two, one, 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 and then give you one there. And then we can come back through and just get rid of these ones. Bastin has really opened my eyes to how big people build in the game. Uh, I think I was saying on one of my videos where I was talking about the, the gatehouse that I built. And even if you look at it, like if we go over here, like this is supposed to be the main gate to the city. And this is a, an inn that's being built, a couple of houses, and then this is, is Fixit's um, boatyard. Now granted, boatyards are big structures, but the the gatehouse that we constructed is is pretty it's pretty small. So I'm thinking about maybe putting another one of these um, structures on top. I don't really know uh, that, or maybe connecting them somehow, like maybe having a smaller tower here with like an arch. The thing is, we didn't want to put anything in the middle because then it blocks the tree. Although the tree is just so big that it might not matter. Once we get a shape of the tree down, I think I'll be able to make a better decision as to how to uh, how to continue with the gate. That's another reason why I'm bouncing around is that it, it just becomes a lot easier um, when you start kind of seeing the whole picture. It's funny, normally you don't think about using uh, stone as a uh, scaffolding, <laughs> but <laughs> because we've got this beacon here with haste five, it is, or haste two, excuse me, and efficiency five, it is pretty sweet. Okay, so that, that should be the corrected the corrected line. And the next one, Cosmic Dancer says, tell me about it, back to work tomorrow. Yep, back to work for me tomorrow too. Even though I work from home and I work for myself, I have a long list of things to do. Uh, so let's see here. I know where that is and I know where this is supposed to be. And I'm feeling like this has got to be raised, but I'm going to be raising it probably by, let's see if this is where it connects, then one, two. Yeah, you know what? Two blocks could probably do it. I thought it was going to be more than that, but it, that might be all we need to do. So if that's the case, I just have to do a line from maybe that block over and then see where we stand. Seems reasonable. We can probably grab some of this dirt, get that out of the way. Oh, sometimes the server's a little bit slow on these. Still need to get some feather falling boots. I think I only have Feather Falling 1. So I do take damage from a lot of stuff when I drop. So this, oh, that's it there. Okay, so this is what we have to do. And I don't want to get rid of this dirt yet because it's an excellent staircase from up there. So let's use this and the cobble. So this should be 110. We're just going to go straight out from here. So this is the tricky part where this should be the middle of three. I just don't know which, which position it's going to be on one, two, I think I counted 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it's on nine, which makes sense, which means that this block can go, and that there's gonna be three three stone, and they go one. should be in the middle. Where am I going here? Right, okay. I think I know what I'm doing now. 
There should be another one on top of this one. it comes down and it does two. And then same idea here, we have to raise this up by one all the way down. Now that we have that done, I think I want to get rid of this dirt because I find that the line is distracting from what we really want to be looking at. We want all of the tree lines to be made of stone so that no one is confused as to what is supposed to stay and what is supposed to go. Well, I feel like this might be a good spot to remind everybody that we are doing a charity stream tonight. Uh, it is at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, if you're watching the VOD of this on YouTube, then you can always check out the spunchunks.com episode 19. You'll see a link to the GoFundMe page for Jennifer Harper. Uh, we're helping out Klautos, who is a member of the Vastin server here. His uh, his sister has unfortunately been diagnosed with a brain tumor. And so tonight at nine o'clock, we're doing a stream and we are going to try and raise some money to help out her and her family. And the VOD for that will be on Twitch. You can follow uh, Grumpy Owl Gaming to get all the details both on Twitter uh, and on Twitch here because he's going to be kind of like emceeing the event, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, so I'm not going to stream for too long today uh, because I'm going to be back online later this evening uh, to do that with Grumpy. So it should be uh, should be a good time for the people watching and hopefully a successful uh, fundraising event uh, for Jennifer Harper and uh, and her family.